its cultural and political and economic impact was epic, with the status quo challenged by a subversiveness, perhaps best exemplified by the Smothers Brothers. Our, our government is asking us as citizens, as citizens to refrain from traveling to foreign lands. Okay, all you guys in Vietnam, come on home. The times were changing so quickly in the 60s, and we didn't change them. Uh, and we, we just reflected. I can't hear you. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to go to college. Yeah. That's from tonight's premiere episode of the 10-part CNN series. The 60s. So how else did the culture of the 60s change? It makes it easy to find the ideal hotel with the best price. Remember, Chicago shows you all the different prices for the exact same room. That's how you can sure that you find the ideal hotel with the best price. Chicago.com. Hotel, Chicago. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with Joseph A. Bank. Get 65% off a huge selection of suits and sport coats. Traditional fit and slim fit suits. And sport coats in many styles and colors. All 65% off. Official. Only at Joseph A. Bank. The CNN Original Series, The 60s, is brought to you by Joseph A. Bank. We fit most everyone. JOSBank.com. Welcome back to the lead. Time for our pop culture lead. Remember the 1960s? I mean, beyond what you've seen on Mad Men. Whether or not you remember that decade, and full disclosure, I don't. Its cultural and political and economic impact was epic, with the status quo challenged by a subversiveness, perhaps best exemplified by the Smothers Brothers. Our, our government is asking us as citizens, as citizens to refrain from traveling to foreign lands. Okay, all you guys in Vietnam, come on home. The times were changing so quickly in the 60s, and we didn't change them. Uh, and we, we just reflected. I can't hear you. What are you doing? I'm getting ready to go to college. Yeah. That's from tonight's premiere episode of the 10-part CNN series, The 60s. So how else did the culture of the 60s change the course of America? Let's bring in the one and only Ben Stein. He grew up in the 60s, worked for Richard Nixon's 1968 campaign, served in his White House. He's an economist and writer and actor. And if you don't remember the 1960s, you may know him best for this scene. No, you Bueller. don't get in here, buddy. Bueller. You don't get in here. Bueller. That's, of course, from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Uh, ben Stein, thanks so much for joining us. Let's travel back in Pleasure. time. Let's travel back in time. This yes. is you. In 1969. There you go. There you are. Very cool. Very radical. What do the 60s mean to you? A lot of sex, a lot of drugs. When I was a, when the 60s started, you were lucky to get a good night kiss from a girl if you went on a date with her. When the 60s ended, it was very rare not to have sex. When the 60s began.